Imagine spending two years building an AI startup, raising millions in funding, hiring a talented team, and finally launching a product that customers love. Then one morning, you wake up to discover that OpenAI just released a feature that does everything your company does, except it's free, faster, and integrated directly into ChatGPT. That nightmare became reality for thousands of startups on October 6, 2025. That day, at OpenAI's Dev Day in San Francisco, CEO, Sam Altman unveiled Agent Kit, and the announcement sent shockwaves through the entire AI startup ecosystem. Not because the technology was revolutionary, but because of what it represented. OpenAI moving aggressively down the stack, directly competing with the very developers who built businesses on top of its platform. This isn't just another product launch. It's a declaration of war. And the casualties are already starting to pile up. The eight minute demo that changed everything. To demonstrate just how accessible Agent Kit is, OpenAI engineer Christina Huang walked onto the stage and built an entire AI workflow with two functioning agents in under eight minutes. Live, no pre-recorded demo, no smoke and mirrors, eight minutes from blank canvas to working automation. That demonstration wasn't just impressive technical showmanship, it was a direct message to every AI startup founder in the audience. If we can build your product in eight minutes on stage, what exactly is your competitive moat? Agent Kit includes four core capabilities that together form a complete toolkit for building AI agents. Agent Builder, which Altman described as like Canva for building agents, provides a visual canvas where users can design complex workflows without writing code. ChatKit offers an embeddable chat interface ready to drop into any application. Evolves for Agents delivers performance measurement tools with trace grading and automated prompt optimization, and the Connector Registry enables secure integrations with internal tools and third-party systems. The implications hit immediately. Agent Builder positions OpenAI as a direct competitor to workflow automation platforms like Zapier, N8N, and Make. These are established companies with years of development thousands of integrations, and loyal user bases. Yet with one product announcement, OpenAI signaled it's coming for their market share. But here's what makes this particularly brutal. OpenAI has 800 million weekly active users on ChatGPT. That's not a typo. 800 million people already using their platform every single week. That's growth from 500 million weekly active users just six months earlier, at the end of March 2025. When you have distribution at that scale, you don't need to build the best product. You just need to build one that's good enough and integrated conveniently enough that users never bother looking elsewhere. The Rapper Apocalypse Here's the uncomfortable truth that nobody in the AI startup world wants to acknowledge. A huge percentage of AI companies are essentially just wrappers around OpenAI's API. Their entire value proposition is a nice interface, maybe some prompt engineering, and perhaps a specific use case focus. But underneath, they're just calling GPT-4. These companies are now facing an existential crisis. If your core value is simply a prettier interface around someone else's model, what happens when that someone decides to build their own interface? What happens when they already have 800 million users who never need to leave their ecosystem? The math is brutal. OpenAI processes over 6 billion tokens per minute through its API, with 4 million developers building on their platform. Many of those developers built entire companies, whose workflows could now be replicated by calling AgentKit directly for a fraction of the cost. This is the wrapper problem at its most devastating. If a startup's technology stack is just a nice UI around GPT-4 or Claude with no proprietary data, no unique algorithms, no defensive moat, they're competing with thousands of identical clones. And now, they're competing with the platform itself. The startups that will survive this consolidation wave share common characteristics. They have proprietary datasets that can't be easily replicated. They offer deep workflow integration into existing enterprise systems that requires domain expertise. They deliver measurable ROI that justifies their existence beyond being convenient API wrappers. Standalone micro tools with no unique technology are on borrowed time. The platform's dilemma. There's a fundamental tension here that platforms like OpenAI can never fully resolve. They need developers building on their platform to drive adoption and prove use cases, but they also want to capture the most valuable parts of the stack for themselves. This creates a toxic dynamic. Developers build businesses, prove market demand, then watch helplessly as the platform they're built on moves downstream and competes directly. 
It's happened before with Apple and the App Store, with Amazon and its marketplace sellers, with Google and countless web services it absorbed into core products. The difference with AI is the speed. Traditional platform shifts played out over years. The AI platform consolidation is happening in months. Companies that raised Series A funding six months ago are watching their entire business model get commoditized before they've even fully launched. A key distinction exists between general-purpose workflow automation and AI-native agent building. Tools like N8N excel at connecting APIs and databases, executing predefined instructions reliably. Agent Kit focuses on building digital reasoning systems with intelligence baked in, measuring success through feedback loops and optimization cycles, rather than simple instruction execution. This means the market may split, rule-based automation serving one segment, adaptive AI agents serving another. But that split still leaves Agent Kit positioned to capture the faster-growing, higher-value AI native segment. And OpenAI's integration story, while narrower than established automation platforms, goes deeper within its own ecosystem. It focuses on quality, security, versioning, and controlled tool access. For developers already committed to OpenAI's platform, that depth matters more than breadth. The success stories that prove the point. Since releasing the Responses API and Agents SDK in March, before Agent Kit's full launch, developers and enterprises have already built end-to-end -end agentic workflows demonstrating the platform's potential. Klarna built a support agent handling two-thirds of all customer service tickets. That's not a pilot program or limited test. That's production deployment at massive scale, replacing human labor with AI agents built on OpenAI's tools. Clay, a data enrichment platform, achieved 10 times growth, powered by a sales agent built on OpenAI's infrastructure. At Ramp, the team went from blank canvas to functioning buyer agent in just hours using Agent Builder. These aren't hypothetical use cases. These are real companies achieving measurable results using tools that OpenAI is now making available to everyone. Which raises an obvious question. If Klarna can build an agent that handles two-thirds of support tickets, what happens to every customer support AI startup that does essentially the same thing? The answer is uncomfortable. They become redundant. The cost crisis nobody wants to discuss. Here's where the story takes an even darker turn. OpenAI has hit $4 billion in annualized revenue. That sounds impressive until you learn they expect to lose $3 billion in 2025. The models are fundamentally unprofitable at current pricing. That's actually an improvement. They lost $5.6 billion in 2024. But even with improving economics, OpenAI is burning cash at an unsustainable rate. And when platforms burn cash, they eventually have to recoup those costs. That means price increases are coming. Companies building businesses on OpenAI's API should be planning for the moment when their input costs suddenly jump 50% or more. Those companies will have to raise prices to their own customers, potentially pricing themselves out of markets or destroying unit economics that barely worked at current rates. This creates a squeeze from both directions. OpenAI is competing directly with its developer ecosystem through Agent Kit, while simultaneously making the economic foundation of those businesses increasingly unstable through inevitable price increases. It's a genuinely difficult position for any company that bet their future on building a top OpenAI's platform. The consolidation wave that's already starting. Industry experts predict a massive surge in mergers and acquisitions throughout 2025 and 2026 as incumbent software companies move aggressively to acquire AI capabilities rather than building them from scratch. This consolidation will concentrate particularly in high-service, regulated industries like healthcare, logistics, financial services, and legal tech, where domain expertise and compliance requirements create natural moats. But here's the problem for startups hoping to get acquired. If your entire value proposition is technology that OpenAI just commoditized, your acquisition value just dropped to nearly zero. Why would Salesforce or Microsoft or Google pay millions to acquire your wrapper when they can integrate AgentKit directly for a fraction of the cost? The frequent updates to foundation models like ChatGPT and Claude create another pressure. Companies built on top of these platforms must iterate faster just to maintain parity. If your development velocity can't keep pace with the underlying models evolving, you fall behind. And in AI, falling behind means becoming irrelevant within months, not years. Speed of innovation, product velocity, and distribution are winning over everything else in the current landscape. 
OpenAI has all three advantages, plus 800 million weekly active users. The platform play that changes everything. AgentKit represents more than just a product. It's OpenAI's move to embed applications directly into the conversational flow, challenging existing paradigms of how we discover and use software. This potentially disrupts established app store models and even aspects of web search itself. Think about what happens when AI agents can complete tasks without users ever leaving ChatGPT. You don't search for a travel booking app, download it, create an account, and input your preferences. You just tell ChatGPT what you want, and an agent handles everything. The app layer disappears entirely. This is the platform Play Google has feared for years. If AI assistants become the primary interface for accomplishing tasks, traditional search becomes less relevant, apps become less necessary. The entire digital economy restructures around conversational agents rather than graphical applications. OpenAI is positioning itself at the center of that transformation. With developer tools, direct consumer offerings, and a clear strategic push, they're signaling intent to lead the next generation of computing. Even as regulatory and competitive pressures mount, initial reactions from the AI research community and industry experts have been overwhelmingly positive, highlighting potential for unparalleled integration and a significant boost to developer productivity and innovation. Many see this as OpenAI's boldest move yet to establish ChatGPT as the central hub for all AI-powered interactions. But that positivity comes from researchers and large enterprises. For the thousands of startups whose business models just got undermined, the reactions are considerably less enthusiastic. What this actually means. The launch of AgentKit marks an inflection point, not because the technology is unprecedented, but because it crystallizes a trend that's been building. Foundation model companies are moving down the stack, competing directly with their own ecosystems. This creates an impossible dilemma for developers. Build on OpenAI's platform and risk being competed away, or don't build on it and miss access to the best models and the largest user base. Either choice carries existential risk. The companies that survive will be those that built genuine defensibility beyond convenient API access. Proprietary data deep customer relationships, regulatory expertise, workflow integration that requires years of domain knowledge, anything that can't be replicated in an eight-minute demo. For everyone else, the consolidation is coming. Some will get acquired before their value evaporates completely. Others will pivot, searching desperately for a moat that agent kit hasn't destroyed. Many will simply shut down, casualties of building businesses on foundations controlled by a competitor. This is the new reality of the AI economy. Platforms eat their ecosystems, not out of malice, but out of inevitable commercial logic. OpenAI needs to justify its billions in losses. The most obvious path is capturing more of the value chain it currently shares with developers. AgentKit isn't just a product launch, it's the opening salvo in a war for control of the AI application layer. And OpenAI just proved it has the weapons, the territory, and the users to win.